The Nigerian army had cleared Colonel I.B. Abdukarim of wrongdoing following allegations by a now-discharged female soldier, Private Ruth Ogunle, that the superior officer and other officers, including Colonel G.S. Ogo and Brigadier General I.B. Solebo, made life hell for her, and they should be held responsible if anything happened to her. Army spokesperson Major General Oyema Wacheko said the Army investigated the claims and discovered that Ms. Ogunle was mentally unstable. Uh, she refused medical help, which necessitated her discharge from the Nigerian Army. <coughs> Ex Private Ruth Ogunle joins me live from our studio in Abuja. Ms. Ogunle, thank you for talking to us. It's important that I make clear that we have strict rules by the NBC when it comes to defamation and false accusations. So I'd like you to strict, um, strictly answer the questions, if you can, you know, within the framework of the law guiding our business. The Army claims that, having done their investigation, that you were mentally unstable, and that was what informed your discharge you know, from duty. How do you respond to that? very much, sir. I was not discharged from the army. I, I sought for a voluntary discharge. I wrote for voluntary discharge that was approved by the army through the intervention of the Minister of Women Affairs. So I was not discharged from the army. I, I sought, I seek for, I, I, I wrote a discharge that was approved by the authority. I was never discharged from the army, sir. All right. So the position of the Nigerian army is that you were recommended for discharge on medical grounds since 2022, but that uh, being a sympathetic um, organization, uh, they thought it wise to give you the best medical treatment possible uh, to stabilize you before discharging you. Talk to us about the kind of medical engagement that you had while still with the military? Um, while I was with Kone Ibi Abrikan, there was never any medical treatment. He, he forced me by giving me, like, by giving me like a tea injection, um, probably raped me, um, raped me and put me inside a body bag. Proper, um, it's called casket in the army, a body bag in the army. Uh, at the end of the day, he will take me to psychiatry hospital to make it look as if I'm actually mad. There's nothing like madness. I never received any treatment from the army. There was no treat. There was no uh, medical treatment, and there was no. Uh, there's no medical reports that I have made mental issue. You have made huge allegations against the colonel, including allegations of rape. You just mentioned that you were put in body bags. Were there witnesses who? also were there when these things happened and uh, did you were you involved in the investigation process that led to your dismissal um so at first he the unit my my previous unit in a uh, ojo cantonment medical center they are all my witness because he's he never hide it from anyone I mean, because he felt he's the ceo and he's the commanding officer nobody can check him so he's the commanding officer. Nobody can check him. And he, there, is, there are eyewitnesses. He injects me. I, I can call names here. He instructed um, Sergeant Udo to inject me. Um, Dr. Cosmos, while he, he handcuffed me and put me inside that casket. So there was nothing like medical index. So he did what he did because I refused to sleep with him. At that time, I wrote, I sought for a redress and wish they were biased. They could not, they didn't do him anything because he's my senior, he's my superior. So he come, he come, he, he, he came up with a pattern of life. He came up with this idea of madness to make everybody believe, because he's a medical doctor, to make everybody believe that I'm mad and none of them were able to listen to me. So they did give me audience and there's nothing like medical report, there's no investigation. And so, uh, during the investigation, the first time I came online to, to complain on how he harassed me sexually, and my first video, 
they took me to national hospital for medical evaluation which turned out to be um, negative they, they were they could not diagnose me and they also took me to ndla for drug test um urine drug test which also turned out to be negative because i don't take i don't abuse substance sir. so there was nothing right. like mental illness Mr. Gunlaye, we have completely run out of time, uh, but just quickly, if you can answer this within a minute. Were you summoned during the investigation, and did the eyewitnesses also stand up for you while this investigation was ongoing? Yes, sir. Let us, let us take yes, um, a reaction. Um, let, us, let us hear from the Nigerian military, especially um, their position as regards this story. I know definitely they will come for me. They will lock me up and they will dismiss me. Well, let's get back to Mr. Gunlaya. We have to go now. We'll, we'll play that um, reaction from the Nigerian military subsequently. But what's, what's the next line of action for you? What are you doing next? Um, so for now, I'm jobless. I'm, I'm also homeless. And the, the Nigerian army, and, they are all after me. They're trying to unalive me because I came online to... To expose them according to them i think for now i'm still waiting for better opportunity i believe god will intervene that's all i have for now. from our private ruth Ogunle, thank you for talking to us in the